And now we check back in with Amanda Vinicky, who spent the day reporting in Garfield Ridge as part of our In Your Neighborhood series. Amanda. Maybe this weekend or next for the Labor Day holiday, you're planning to travel, perhaps taking a flight out of Midway. We have with us now Elizabeth Granados Perez. I want to get this title right. You're Managing Deputy Commissioner for Midway Operations. Also, by the way, a Garfield Ridge resident. So thanks for joining us now. Of course, early in the pandemic, the travel industry was devastated by COVID and restrictions. So what was the impact like for Midway and has it rebounded? Well, first of all, thank you for having me here this evening. I really appreciate it. Um, yes, the airport, just like every other airport, was definitely impacted by the pandemic. Um, but as history has shown us, the aviation industry, as well as the airlines, have rebounded through many other challenges. And so we're confident that they are going to rebound through this challenge as well. Uh, Midway Airport itself stayed open during the height of the pandemic. It continued to service our traveling public. Um, I would like to note that Midway actually was one of the airports that uh, rebounded quicker than others due to its leisure and uh, domestic travel destinations. And uh, one other quick fact is that in uh, 2021, we actually have had days where the traveling figures have equaled or exceeded 2019 numbers, which were pre-pandemic. And so that gives us all hope that we are headed in the right direction. People really ready to get somewhere else after staying at home for so long. And of course, you probably had to make some changes operationally to make sure that both employees and passengers were safe. What about operations? So first and foremost, I'd like to say that the uh, safety and health of our passengers as well as our employees is first and foremost for us. Uh, so with the support of Mayor Lightfoot, we did work with uh, the uh, Chicago Department of Public Health um, as well as our partner agencies um, to ensure that we had guidelines that uh, protected the employees as well as our uh, passengers. And so what we've done is we encourage social distancing. Um, so we have signs throughout the entire airport, uh, as well as markers on the floor to ensure um, six feet of distancing. Uh, we have installed hand sanitation units throughout the entire airport, and we encourage masks. Uh, yes, so masks na need to be then, worn in the airport. And, and also, I know there's low touch concessions available. Before we run out of time, though, I really yes. want to touch on, you know, there was a construction project done here over yes. Cicero related to Midway. So what impact does that have on security checkpoints? So uh, our Midway modernization program has um, continued through the pandemic, and we were able to open up the new security pavilion. It is 80,000 square feet. It is seven times wider than the previous pavilion that we had. And the TSA throughput has increased from 2,500 passengers per hour to 5,000 passengers per hour. So it is a new great uh, amenity that I hope everyone can come out and see. Makes it a lot easier, faster, when you Correct. can get through security quickly, when you are looking to travel again, perhaps you are looking to do so coming up for the holiday weekend in early September. Thank you so much again. That was Elizabeth Granados Perez with the city's aviation department. And wow, time flew, back to you guys. Time flew, I saw what you did there, Amanda. Thanks very much. And up next, 